happening? What's happening? Alright guys, I've been thinking about this video for a long time. <clears throat> it is called Small Guns Anonymous. And I like small guns for some reason. I do not know why. Um, all these guns could be considered concealed carry guns or pocket guns maybe. Or um, small, just small guns in general. And I've decided... I'm doing this video, and if you want to make a video response showing your small guns, feel free to do so. And if I have enough, maybe there'll be prizes involved. So anyway, guys, um, I'm going to start my collection off showing you my smallest gun. And that is the North American Arms 22 long rifle with a 1 and 1 8 barrel. And it is, uh, I think, the smallest 22 handgun in the world. I'm at weighing in at a stout 4 ounces. As you can see, with my big bare hands, as Van says, they are huge. And then from there, um, one of my favorites is the North American Arms Pug 22 Magnum. It's got the excess big dot sights, ho grip. Uh, Happen to carry this gun quite a bit in a um, rag steel holster that Mr. 45 Bullet gave me. And then here we have a limited edition, one of 1,499, Taylor Blackjack, so, uh, ported Blackjack, North American Arms. It's got the porting for a uh, tactical uh, recoil reducing measure. And this one is very, very low serial, under 150. I haven't shot that one yet, probably won't. All right, and then from, from there, going a little bit larger, um, gun that I've had for a while now is the Beretta Minx and this is an Italian made um, pre-1960 something band for this gun has no safety and it's single action only and this one's in 22 short really nice gun, it's beautiful condition um, I've shot maybe 100 rounds to it just to test it but I don't want to keep shooting it and uh, wear the gun out this one I've shot a lot more. This one is the Breda Jetfire USA made with safety. Um, this one shoots really good. Haven't had a single uh, misfire with either of these two Brettas. This one I think is uh, was made in the 80s from what I can tell uh, with the serial. And again it's a Breda Jetfire 25 automatic. And um, one, of my, one of my favorite carry guns is the Smith & Wesson Model 442 Airweight and 38 Special plus P. Carry this gun quite a bit. It's about 15 ounces. Great carry option. No hammer. Carry that one in a... And it, and it does have some wear on the top here, but I'm not really concerned about it. Then um, if you want to stay in the same size area around is the uh, Ruger SP-101 um, two and a quarter inch barrel, I believe it is. This gun does have some heft, but you're glad you have it when you shoot those big 158 grain uh, wad cutters out of it. <clears throat> and then staying with the revolvers, this is um, one of my real, real nice um, Colt Detective Special 3rd Edition. And it's in really, really good shape. Wish I had the box for it, but I don't. But uh, these just recently went way up in value. So um, haven't shot this one yet. When I got it from the guy, I got it through a trade. Just haven't got around to shoot it. Um, and I don't really plan on it. Um, the blooming is real pretty on it. The grips are real good shape. It's a real pretty gun. And then we move on to the newest one, the Smith & Wesson Shield. And I'll still say it's a small gun. Um, and I, like, I've, like I told you guys, I've shot it several hundred rounds. I think maybe five or 700, 750 rounds. No issues whatsoever. And then we move on to a gun that I carried a while for long also is the Ruger LC9 and 9mm as well. Shot maybe 2,000 rounds through this gun, no, no issues whatsoever. Um, I'll maybe polish the barrel eventually because uh, it's pretty roughed up. It's another favorite of mine, Ruger LC9 and 9mm. Had no issues out of it. Let me move on to the infamous car CM9. Other than the magazine, I've had no issues with it either. And um, 
I like this gun. It's it's uh, much smaller than the the shield. And uh, but the shield has its place for sure inside the waistband or maybe a pocket holster if you're wearing big enough pants. Um, and then um, I just brought this home today. It's a Car PM9. This is actually a friend of mine's gun. I installed this Crimson Trace laser sight on it. Really cool. And that's a Car PM9. And the difference is between a Car and a, a PM9 and a CM9, obviously you can tell. You can first tell on a CM9 the front sight is um, pinned in. The, the PM9 is dovetailed in. Um, on the PM9 you have a match grade polygonal barrel. On the CM9 you have a standard rifling. And then of course you see the difference in slide. Really the same exact gun. For the money I would get the car. And uh, all these guns shoot 10 millimeter. And I prefer the Winchester, uh, ever so famous Winchester Black Talon 10 millimeter. It's a really pretty box of uh, Winchester Black Talon in beautiful shape. So I just thought I'd bring those out and show you. All these guns are 10 millimeter. You know, even this one. Anyways, guys, um, I want to do two quick shout outs. The first one being Zippo Varga. He kind of got me started on these North American arms. Um, he's got a, quite a few of them. Um, and also, another good um, channel to check out gun websites. He's another small gun fanatic, especially in this middle row. Um, he likes the Brettas, especially the 22 shorts. I think it's his favorite caliber. And he also does have several of the North American arms. Anyway, guys, like I said, if you want to do a video response, fine. And if there's enough responses, I will um, find some type of prize. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. I took a shot of cocaine and I shot my woman down. I went right home and I went to bed. I stuck at 1144 beneath my head. Got up next morning and I grabbed that gun.